Welcome to Tack Talk with Mitchell and Lucas. I'm Mitchell Karens, one of the co-hosts of this show, and on this show we will discuss about our sponsor, TAC Sports, and all the programs and teams, academy teams they have, and as well, talking about their LSA program and their aquatics team. As well, my co-partner, Lucas Richard, will be discussing the sports of the month, which would be a sports topic that was probably the biggest one of each month. So, we appreciate you tuning into this show with us. Now, let's get this talk started. Let's go! Let's get into our TA Sports material. TAC Sports provides kids with the self skills, self confidence, and self knowledge through highly trained sports education. It's one of the things they are most proud of for their program. Coming up, the TEC Sports Summer Camps and the TEC Sports March Break Camps. The March Break Camps work from the March 11th to 15th as the first week and the second week is March 18th to 22nd. Our locations are all across the GTA. Locations are St. Joseph Morrow Park, Toronto French School, Pickering College, and Holy Trinity School. At each of these schools, or locations as you could call them, we have different sports as in basketball, soccer, tennis, mixed martial arts, gymnastics, dance, and our adventure camp program, which includes all sports throughout the week at a base level for kids that are three and a half to five years old. At TAC Sports, one thing that they pride themselves in is people being able to customize how they play in the week. This is from the unique way of you're allowed to choose your sports half day which you can specialize in any way you can. Do soccer in the morning, basketball in the afternoon, vice versa, or any other sport. One thing they also pride themselves in is their one to five coach ratio. And when they do aquatics, it is a one to three ratio. Each coach has their first aid certification and have training sessions for swimming as well so that they are prepared for any circumstances happens inside the pool. At these programs, these are dedicated swimming lessons for kids to learn how to swim and how to grow as a person and as a swimmer in general. Programs are happening on Thursdays and Sundays and spots are filling up quick, so please register online at tacaquatics.ca. For their LSA program, they have added a lot of new amazing programs for the Lifetime Skills and Academy. One of the programs are the Lego Architecture, another one is the Lego Robotics, it gets into more performance arts and their cooking and nutrition section, which actually teaches the kids about nutrition and how to cook with our director, Alexander Arthur. You can follow TAC Sports on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at TAC Sports. Now, I'm gonna turn over to Lucas Richen as he discusses this amazing month of football, most specifically, two weeks ago's AFC and NFC Championship games leading up to this week's Super Bowl. Lucas? Thanks for that great intro, Mitch. We're all caught up on the world of tax sports now. We're going to move on to our featured sport of the month in the NFL. We were treated to two amazing championship games this past weekend. I could have gone either way, as anyone watching would have known. And let's just talk for a second about how Drake predicted two overtime games in the AFC and the NFC Championship game. And for, for sports fans watching, we both know that Drake is on a roll when it comes to predicting sports losses and sports wins. So Toronto Raptors, just saying right now, we gotta find a new ambassador, I think, if we ever gonna win an NBA championship. All right, folks, let's talk about that NFC Championship game. The Rams away at the Saints in the Superdome. The Saints. Got a couple of chances early on, but ended up settling for two field goals, and then eventually went up 13-0. And as a Rams player, you gotta think, that offense is based on their communication between their quarterback and their coach, Sean McVay, and Jared Goff. And they couldn't even hear themselves in that rocking Superdome. But they rallied late, they tied the game at the end of the fourth quarter, and they won in overtime on Greg the Leg Zerline's 57-yarder, a playoff record, to send them into the Super Bowl. But this game, Unfortunately, it's shrouded by the controversy regarding a late pass interference no call against the Saints. Tommy Lee Lewis, out on a swing route, got absolutely decked by Nikhil Roby Coleman. First of all, as a football fan, watching this play, there's two fouls on this play. Helmet to helmet hit, and pass interference. That's not even the craziest part about the whole play though. We had two refs within five yards of the contact, look each other in the eyes, and go, eh, no call. 
and thus the Saints were a bit robbed from a Super Bowl berth. But at the end of the day, they have no one to blame but themselves, as they could have been up 21 nothing early on in the game and have squashed any hopes of a Rams comeback. Let's talk about this AFC Championship game, folks. Brady and the Patriots going into a freezing Arrowhead Stadium on the road, managed to overcome a Chiefs team that had a very impressive regular season behind an MVP candidate in Patrick Mahomes, the next great quarterback of this new generation. 50 touchdowns and 5,000 passing yards, but was unable to overcome a Patriots defense that was able to lock down on that team in the first half. Brady and the Patriots scored early in the first half, but unfortunately gave up 31 points in the second half to the Chiefs, as the Chiefs rallied back to tie the game in regular time. In overtime, the Patriots won the coin toss on Matthew Slater's call of heads, and he quickly proclaimed, we want the ball. Brady and the Patriots marched down the field while he threw dimes left and right to his receivers, especially Edelman and Gronk. Courtesy of Tony Romo's amazing play calling that predicted almost every play down the stretch, which led eventually to Rex Burkhead touchdown on second and goal, pushing their Patriots into another Super Bowl. This Super Bowl appearance is now Brady's ninth in 18 seasons in the league. To give you some context of how amazing that stat is, Brady's gotten more Super Bowls himself with the Patriots than any other franchise in NFL history. He has nine, the Steelers have eight. What more can you say than that as one of the greatest winners of all time? Brady and the Patriots now rematch with the Rams in their 36, in the Super Bowl 36, in which Brady won his first Super Bowl against the Rams, who were at that time quarterbacked by Kurt Warner, in which the Patriots were a 14 point underdog. So now we will see, will it be Brady passing the torch to Mahomes? to Goff, or it will be Goff giving up another Super Bowl to Brady, his sixth in what is an unprecedented run of excellence in the NFL like we have never seen before. And we'll see you next month on Tack Talk. Talk.